Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. This is episode 13 and we're back with a new episode after some time away. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, I've been unwell for a little bit so I had to step away from the channel for a while because I couldn't make videos. I was dealing with having COVID. So I do have a, a little bit of a cough left over that is a little bit persistent so I do apologize if that comes in here and there uh, but we should be we should be okay we, sh we should be okay um so we're gonna we're gonna get back we're gonna get back tonight to the old republic very excited to continue uh last episode we went through uh the hidden section behind the jack jack tar and oh that was a lot of fun uh it was a lot of fun uh we dealt with that hurdle we got through it uh atten mira and t3 uh, are currently at a point where we need to change the id signature for the ebon hawk so we can get stolen so we can go aboard goto's ship so we can rescue the exile and get back on track and while we're here at the beginning i just want to quickly mention this as well because knights of the old republic 2 um more so than any of the other games that i've played so far it's definitely one of those ones that feels like it almost requires and needs a, a replay to really get a lot out of it especially with character interaction and, and stuff like that so i wanted to pose a question um to to the floor if i was to replay knights of the old republic 2 how would you want to see it structured is my is my question uh so if you see an opinion on this question that you agree with make sure you uh you you like that comment get it bumped up to the top so i can see what opinions you know have the majority sort of value is like is a replay better done still with the restored content mod dark side or light side male or female there's a lot of replay value in most of the games that i've played but this one specifically with the way that you influence different characters with the way things that can change really quickly uh it makes me curious to see uh what you feel would be sort of like a really good way to to do it because uh, it could be interesting to do it without the restored content mod for a replay to see those changes. Uh, it could uh, be interesting to even, instead of playing the PC version, play the original Xbox version. Uh, there's multiple ways to go about it, whether it's uh, a change of platform, a change of gender, light side, dark side, etc, etc. Personally, it feels like the approach that I would consider taking is playing a dark side playthrough. Um, not sure if I would change the gender, but I might. But again, all these variables, if I just decide to change everything and do it the opposite side, there's still a whole bunch of other th stuff that you miss. So it's uh, it's hard to choose. But let me know. Let me know what you guys think would be the best way to navigate a replay of this game to really maximize some character interactions and get some other things. Because while uh, this game has certainly been very rewarding with a lot of cool Star Wars stuff and information, uh, it's it's definitely shown some some jank, um, understandably. But that's okay because uh, you know there's a there's a first playthrough for every game, and it can't always be perfect. But uh, we'll see we'll see how a replay goes as well later down the line. But we will stop being like Luke and looking to the horizon, looking to the future. And right now we will focus our present feelings on the moment. Not at the expense of the moment. It's time for us to continue. We've got to change the ID signature of the Ebon Hawk uh, and uh, get captured. And uh, when we when we leave Narshadar, so I might quickly check in with Mira, see if there's any conversation to be had here. What I might do while we're having this conversation is I will take Mira's headband off so I can actually see her face. Let's have a chat. Actually, I'm currently posed anx- hang on. I've caught my breath. Let's go. Oh, actually, this does make sense. I'm good to go. Just say the word. I am playing- I've caught my breath. Let's go. I'm not playing as the main character. I'm just playing as all the NPCs. NPCs is not the right word. I'm playing as all of the secondary party members. I'm quite literally playing as playable characters. They are not NPCs. <laughs> Um, playing as the other members of the squad, so they don't really have anything to say Let's to each that. other. So that's okay. Scratch that from the record. Let's continue. Um, oh, and we've got a bunch of Gand. Okay. Time to take you down to size. 
Time to take you down to size. Let's take out these guns. Oh, there's a, there's a there's a few of them. That came from. Uh, good thing is that the gand uh, the gand are actually quite weak. The gand are actually quite weak, so I think it'd be okay to just kind of let the let the combat go right out this wave. If we were going up against the uh, UB's warriors, however, I feel like we'd be uh, <laughs> we'd be having a bit more trouble. <laughs> oh, actually, I take that back. Mira just got killed. That came <laughs> I was <from>. not even. <laughs> we're off to a great start, team. Mira got killed. I think I just shot the wall. Oh my god! Well, that was silly. We'll uh, we'll get Mira back up and, and ready. Where and that we'll came from? Deal with this in a sec. I thought I could get away with not equipping shields, but it seems like I might have to. You got this action, I believe. In you. All right, this, this one. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to give that in the old heal. Do I have any heals left at this point? I got five med packs. Ooh, dangerous stuff. Oh, Atten, Atten can't go down, right? If he's the last member of the party, he'll automatically get back up again, won't he? I believe that's how this works. Or oh, who's gonna die first? And it's Atten. Ah! Atten survives with no health left. Alright, Mira, get up. <laughs> Alright, we've done exceptionally well. I'm good to go. <laughs> She's good to go! <laughs> Let's give her a level up so she gets all her health back. Uh, that's probably going to be the way to do it. There you are. Alright. Ah, oh, Mira can actually get another level up. I'll save that for now. Uh, Atten, Atten, Atten. Do I have... I don't have better... All I've got is a few medkits. I need to go shopping. I need to go shopping. This is going to be a problem. We'll be, we'll be fine. This is what happens when you don't have a Jedi with you and you constantly get thrown into situations where you don't have characters that can survive on their own. Sith Disruptor. We'll work on it. We'll work on it. We'll get our team up to scratch. Alright, all these... Oh! Okay. Okay. All these... All these... Uh... Oh yeah, the whole rocket launcher on the wrist. Okay. Um, melee shield, because I need to actually do the shields, because these ones More where that came from. are attacking us at close range. Ready? Oh, Mira is going down. Hold on. Let's quickly level up. <laughs> That's why I saved the level up, in case I had to do this again now. Might give you more toughness, so you can have some more health. And then I'm going to save that level up again for the next more time that, that I need to from. level you up. That might have just been okay. Oh, do the melee shield again. More where that came from. No, Atten. Okay, okay. Right, now Mira, use the... Mira does not have an energy shield, hold on. We've got the wrist launcher, right, hold on. Do the Achani shield, there you go. Put on the Achani shield, there you go. I need to get Atten out here. And then T3. Let's see what you got. I don't know if that Nero Scrambler really does stuff. That's another one for me. Nice, 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 nice. Asin's gotta oh Asin's gotta level up. Mira's dead. <laughs> Mira's dead in a sexy pose, god damn it. I'm doing we're doing good. We're doing good. Alright, let's get you another feat. Sneak attack nine. What should we give to Atten? Should I give him toughness as well at this point? Improved close combat, maybe? 
might give him improved close combat, considering he's got people running up in his face. All right, he's healed. Here's dead. My God, this is going swimmingly. Oh, actually, this is pretty good. Get him from this distance. You got it. There you go. Do your renewable shield because you're being shot at. Buddy. Perfect. <laughs> Flawless victory. <laughs> Alright, Mira, get back up. I'm good to go. Yes, you are. Right. Put that shield on, girl. <laughs> Let's get that level up happening again. <laughs> Precise shot four. Alright, attribute increase. Let's see. Constitution. We'll get, you some, we'll get you some more health next time. Damn, so she has the best treating injury skill, but does not treat injury very well. Alright. Save T3's level up. All right, we're, we're doing we're doing great. We're off to a great start. I remember, I need to warm back up to the game again because it's been a little while. But I think I'm doing okay. Little <laughs> uh, box empty. I'm pretty sure all of the doors are locked in this segment, except for the one that I can just open. Oh my god. Right, that rocket launcher is cool, but not I hear you. That cool. T3, what are you doing? That's another one for me. Oh, T3. Careful, buddy. More where that came from. Mira is really taking so much damage, dude. Even with the shield, hang on a minute, because, like, a, a Chani shield is energy. It is energy. But she's still taking that health damage. Oh, I've got, we've picked up some advanced med packs now, that's good. That's good. Oh my god, now we've got the, z the Zoogs to deal with as well. Alright, you ready for another round, team? God damn it. Oh man. I hear you. Oh, Asim just got stunned. Why did he do that? Oh man. Oh god. Why did he run into combat? I know that he's got the aggressive stance on, I know the answer. Some health back, buddy. You got this. Oh no. Oh god. Alright, Ashen's back up. Uh I hear you. I guess put that melee shield on. Considering these guys are hanging out. Get these Where guys. that came from? These guys. Where would that came from? Get get my guy to safety. Get my boy to safety. Nice! Nice! Oh my god. <laughs> More where that came from! Oh my god! I didn't need to Let's put on the melee shield after all. Kill this guy, please! Everyone down! It's working. It's working! Okay. <laughs> Guys, none of us died this time. Hell yeah. Put that shield back on. Good go. Sheesh! Sabrak battle armor. This dude's just chilling like nothing's going on. Okay. There's our speeder. We could go to another section if we want, but I feel like that's just a dangerous idea. Where are we? Right, so that goes across to the Jack Jack Tar. Uh, this is Vogger's warehouse and the Enclave. We want to be going this way to the refugee landing pad where we're going to still have to deal with more problems. I hear you. Um, actually, Ready? you need to get healed by me. Because I have better treat injury. Okay. 
Oh, there's Gand here as well. Let me just quickly quick save. Just say the word. That's another one for me. Get him from across here. That's another one for me. Nice. Uh, actually, let me change this real quick. Ranged. Ranged. Ready? Ranged. We can change everyone to ranged. Okay. More where that came from. Everyone start attacking from a range, please. Hmm, apparently, Atom's not in range. More where that came from. And neither are you. Shiny shield. Let's see what you got. Um, Atten needs to put another Achani shield on. I hear you. Just get him from a distance. Where is... That's another one for me. Nice. We still haven't used our speedy yet, by the way. We still haven't given it a go. Ah, it's been sabotaged beyond repair! I didn't even get to use my air speeder. Get him. Am I- is he not putting up- oh, he is putting up- Oh, that's why I'm still taking damage behind the Where shields, that came from? Is the, the destructors do unblockable Time to damage? take you down to size. No? It's not. Oh, yeah, Atten is taking some damage. Okay. It's not much, though, that's fine. It's okay. Do you guys wanna. I thought I could just take it one on one. I think you guys should help me. You guys should help me. Not. Hang on. Mira, show the fuck. No! You're supposed to stay at a distance, Mira, you fuck. Why did you run in there and get this guy's attention? More where that came from! Okay. <laughs> God damn it. Heels, baby, heels. This is a flawless segment. That's good. Okay. Into the refugee landing pad. Let's go. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I was like, okay, there's, there's like NPCs walking around, I think we're okay. Nope. Okay. What I'm gonna do is, I think this is how this works, right? So, I did get some clarification on this, is when, um, when it, it, the combat starts, this is when you can apparently use these. So you can't spam them in in between combat, but at the beginning of combat, if I want to do these. Um, so I can use that, use that. Um, and then if I want to switch to T3, I can use that, use that, and then Atten. Because everyone's shooting, we want their dexterity up and their constitution up. Note, that only worked with Atten. Because only Atten's the one who got... What? Atten's the only one that got the arrows next to his name. But it used the items because there's less here now. How does this work, dude? I'm confused. Is something going wrong? So I'm in the inventory, I'm using this because the item's got, like, ticked down. It's gone down a number, but there's no arrows next to her name. Is Mira immune to stimulants, but it still uses the item? Meanwhile, Atten has all of his arrows when I use them. I feel that. Fucking, I don't know, dude. What I do know is... Time to even the eye. Mira is gonna die. <laughs> That's what I know. Actually, I need to give her a melee shield because she's about to just take the brunt of all of this damage. Oh my god. Mira, use the shield. <laughs> Targeting five. Um. Man, 
I'm just going for ones that make my characters stronger at this point instead of doing less damage, but I, I would like to start increasing some of these skills as well as doing better with these. Oh, I'm gonna go for toughness. More where that came oh wait, from. you're not wielding a blaster. What did I do to you? <laughs> what? Oh, you switched weapons. Why did you do that? What is happening? All right. More where that came from. Oh god, do the shield again. Do the shield. More where that came from. Okay, she switched weapons. Oh, I think she switched weapons automatically because uh, she doesn't because she's attacking close range. For fuck's sake. Um, <laughs> uh, equip the Gand Silencer. 2 to 9 damage with a plus 18 to hit. Can you just please use the blaster? Can you just please use the blaster? Oh my god. This is a... We're, we're watching a train wreck happening in slow motion, dude. Everyone down! I'm just like Mira is just taking every single shot. Here. Hang on, Atten switched as as well to. I... Okay, fuck me. All right, Mira now needs to switch to a different shield. Is not getting attacked <laughs> with a melee range. All right, so switch shields. <laughs> fuck. Advanced med pack, go! Okay, my tiny brain can only do so many things at once. Alright. Do one of these. Where would that come from? Okay. We're getting there, we're getting there. Oh, hang on. She's got the arrows now. Ready? So maybe those, maybe those things did work after all. They're just taking their sweet time to do so. T3, I'm gonna need you to focus all together on the same time. T3, team up on the same time together. Take them out. Uh... Oh, that and died. I was wondering why I couldn't switch to him. That's another one for me. I'm gonna lose Mira as well. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Atten's back up. Use the enchantment. I hear you. The only reason I've even been able to make it this far without fucking terrible death is because all my characters have had level ups just like waiting in the wings. I've got no more med packs. More where that came from. I'm pretty sure we have a merchant in this area that I can buy stuff from. I think I think I have a merchant in this area I can buy stuff from. And I'm gonna buy a bunch of med packs. More where that came from! Alright, we've almost got this guy. Oh yay, holy oh, shit, say the word. These fucking dudes just standing in the middle of a firefight like nothing is happening, like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> right, Mira, get up. Holy shit. You know it would be awesome if all of these enemies gave us healing items upon death or something. SOMETHING! Okay, merchant time. What's a there's a merchant around these bots? Hello, Mira. Cause this guy is the droid guy. Coden's the droid guy. Um Where are the merchants? Oh my god. Not the Gand. Um <laughs> I think the merchants are right around that corner. Hold on. Go this way, guys. Yes, the merchants are this side. Hang on. 
We unfortunately told the merchant that was here to take a hike, but we can deal with this merchant around here. I gotta buy some stuff. <laughs> we're, in, we're in a desperate spot. We're in a desperate spot. Linda. Okay, what, what have you got in stock? Because I need, I need stuff. All right, let me see what you got. You don't have. Oh, you don't have healing items because, of course, you don't. Because why would you have? Why would you have healing items? Like that would be that would be ridiculous. That would be ridiculous to expect that of you. To have healing items. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Fuck. God, that costs sixteen thousand. I'm not spending that much on a on a weapon. Oh, Unda. Unda, why don't you have? Why don't you have medical equipment? Um. Oh God. What is in this place that I can? Is there anywhere I can find medical equipment? Oh yes, this is that room where we uh, walked in and someone died just because we entered the room. Let me take care of this. Oh man, okay. Is there a way for us to avoid? I don't think there is, because there's Gand there and our way out is... Yep, that's the way out. We could go to the entertainment sector. We've never... we haven't been to the entertainment promenade yet, but will we get killed? Are there going to be enemies in the entertainment promenade as well? We haven't been in there yet, and I was kind of waiting to go there with the Exile, but the Exile did get kidnapped, so I don't know if we have a choice. I need to get back to the ship. Oh. It's my only way off this planet. Alright, we're not going to the Entertainment Promenade. We have to wait. <sighs> Is there any... Is there any healing items in the refugees? Like... Um, anyone to buy healing stuff off in the refugee sector? I can't... I can't remember. Oh, we got... Okay. There's three Gand there. We can take them. We can take three Gand. Maybe. I'm good to go. We can take three Gand. From a distance. Let's go. Put on the... Put on the Achani shield. Right, they're not shooting. Let's settle this. They're not shooting from this far. This is good. I can take this. More where that came from. Just waiting to get in range. No, nope. okay. Why can't How close do I have to be? Why can't I target them Everyone as T3? Down. I couldn't target them as T3 until I was this far. More where like, that came this from. Close? What is happening? More where that came from. Come on, team, I believe in you. Oh my god! I hear you. Take him out! More where that came from! Please stop missing from this distance. Let's settle this. What I'm talking about, baby. More where that came from. Target him! What the T3 just stopped targeting him? I'm so confused. Just I need the game to work, please. Oh, you guys are <laughs> not looking good. <laughs> oh, we're gonna be able to make it back to the ship. Okay, let's let's get this ID code done. Main character of here. Oh, I can. Hang on, no, this is a workbench, not a lab station. I need a lab station to craft medical equipment. Ah. <laughs> Quick. I see a shape. Is someone there again? Welcome to TN shop. My eyes are old, but I can see you want something of me. Can you change our ship's ID signature? You have blank transponder card. Yes, this I can do for you. What ID signature do you want to use? Okay. Um, 
Oh shit, hang on. Oh, you can actually change to the silver zephyrs or alicandors. One of the ID signatures received from B5D8. As you say, just one moment. It is done. Much luck to you, visitor. The Ebon Hawk will be intercepted by Goto's yacht. Two party members will be able to board it to save Chris Blythe. Who is the first person you want to send? Oh, shit. Okay, hang on. We can choose people to send. Okay, okay. Action and Mira are just going to get their butts kicked at this rate. I'm thinking the best thing for me seems to be taking... What really sucks at this point with what I'm thinking about is I feel like I need to think about the ones who can be the most capable skill-wise of getting through this situation. Not necessarily the ones that I think might most make the most sense from a story perspective. I think I need to take Handmaiden. <laughs> this is ironic considering they hate each other. Is I was thinking of taking Handmaiden and Vices because Handmaiden absolutely crushes with their skills. Um, Beaudur potentially as well, but I think Vices, considering Vices has a lightsaber, I think just might be the best. I'm going to go for Handmaiden, and the second person I want to send is Vices. That, this could just kick me in the ass because I might need a character that has really good, like, repair, fucking computer usage, security, you know, or all of that kind of stuff as well. So, we'll just have to see. I'm going for two physically capable um, targets to hopefully get through the ship. But this is this is a running train wreck, so we'll see how we go. They are fleeing, running away on their very ugly junk ship. No, they're going to rescue their leader brother from Goto. That means they have a way to reach him. Follow that ship. All the space traffic around Narshadar should hide our pursuit. Okay. Here we go. We've been intercepted and stolen. What a ride. Alright, we're on the ship. Let's see how this goes, shall we? With no medical items. <laughs> mm, I was expecting someone taller. <laughs> I hope you are not in too much pain to hear my words and understand them. I am Goto, one of the officials representing a percentage of non-sanctioned trading here in both the YouTube system and Republic Space. And I had a question for you. Are you a Jedi? Well, I, you know, I, I turned from the Jedi long ago. I have no ties to the Jedi Order is probably appropriate. Indeed. That is unfortunate. Still, perhaps you have some value. I have gone to considerable expense and effort to bring you here. It is because I have a job for you. Oh yeah, I just realized our character is dual wielding lightsabers even though I should only be wielding one. Because obviously I don't have any of the perks for dual wielding. I just wanted to fuck around with it last episode. But that means that my character has them equipped. I also find it funny that even though we got captured, I have my weapons on me. I got my lightsabers. Um, it makes it... I think Vices does have a lightsaber equipped at least, which is nice. So I'm not in too much trouble. <laughs> there are easier ways to get my attention. <clears throat> Is that why you hired every bounty hunter and assassin in the galaxy? Assassins? No. Some of the bounty hunters on Nar Shaddaa, however, have chosen to interpret my commands in a manner not of my choosing. You are no value to me, dead. If you were a Jedi, they could not kill you anyway. If they could... Then you are useless to me. Wow. There is something important to me I need protected. The Republic, it is broken. What happened on Paragus has set in motion events that I can no longer control. Not to be melodramatic, but <laughs> I fear it has broken the galaxy irrevocably. This has occupied much of my attention, and there seems to be no predictable way to resolve the situation. 
Interesting. You chased me all over the galaxy to ask me to save it? In one standard month, the Republic will collapse. Not due to war or secession, but because it lacks the infrastructure to support itself. It is unknown to all but a few, but the Sith won the Jedi Civil War. Even with their supposed victory, the war left the Republic on the brink of collapse. Rather than remain and help solidify the Republic, however, Revan chose to leave known space. A frustrating turn of events, as a rallying figurehead could have done much to restore order. I, I agree with that. I agree with that. I still don't understand why you brought me here. There is something moving in the galaxy that lies beyond the ability of my instruments to detect or predict. I believe it to be a legacy of the Sith, but I have been unable to determine the source. Whatever this presence is, it is staging strikes at key figures throughout the Republic, and through some unknown means, it is causing the destruction of worlds. Qatar, a Miraluka world in the mid rim, was one such place. I have reason to suspect there was a gathering of Jedi on that world when it was rendered lifeless. I cannot find any pattern in these attacks, and it is a source of frustration to me. There is some clue, however, that perhaps the Jedi are linked to these attacks, or that the targets are significant in some way I have yet to discover. This is an interesting turn of events, then, if this guy's being genuine about it, because... Um... Hmm. Because he is talking about Malak, and Malak's enjoying his um, hungry, hungry hippo game with the galaxy. I'll do what I can. I don't want to see the Jedi wiped out. You misunderstand me. I do not wish to stop the Sith any more than I wish to stop the Jedi. It is simply <coughs> important to me that the infighting among <coughs> these Jedi Sorry. religious branches be resolved so the galaxy may be put back together. I do not care which one triumphs. I only want the universe to settle down for a while and catch its breath. All these constant crises are getting somewhat repetitive. Hmm. But you're a member of the Exchange, what does it matter? You could say I am something of a patriot. Although I was unable to serve during the troubles with the Mandalorians or against the aggressors known as Malak and Revan, I am able and willing to serve now. The problem is I can find no side to choose. Both are hidden from me as they seem to be hiding from each other. Irritating. It is like a Dejaric board where neither player can see the other nor see all the pieces. It is not a fair game, an equitable game. <laughs> then maybe you should try Bazaar. <laughs> Hmm. Bazak bores me. I often suspect my opponent of cheating. I prefer predictable games such as Galactic Economics. I'll do what I can to help. That was my intention in the first place is kind of the option that I guess I'll go for because the other two is literally just like, I don't care about the Republic, which is incorrect. And then also the dark side choice, which is saying it deserves to die. So I'll say, I'll do what I can to help. Excellent. It really is in your best interests, you know. There is no margin for error when I say that these Sith seek to murder you and all Jedi everywhere. They have been quite deficient. And when they dispose of you, there will be nothing left to stop them. And the galaxy will fall under their influence. I need to get this breath mask off of my handsome face, but you kidnapped me and made me pass out. God damn it. <laughs> Then I have no problem helping if you set me free. Ah, well, there is where we are at cross purposes. I cannot set you free. You have a tendency to cause dangerous repercussions wherever you go, and I would rather keep those to a minimum. The galaxy really is a fragile place right now. I am a businessman. The Republic needs stability to survive, prosper, and grow. Whether it is led by the Sith or supported by the Jedi is of no consequence to me. 
Uh, what is that alarm? It is the proximity alarm. We are under attack. Somehow, your allies have found you. Unexpected. You will remain here under guard. I must see to the defense of my ship. All from the safety of this hologram. All right. We seek to make Goto aware of our <laughs> services, yeah. allowing us to facilitate communication and terminate hostilities in the galaxy. If that means blowing up planets, slaughtering entire species, or allying ourselves with the Sith, then that is the logical choice. Our predecessor would never understand our directives. He was slow, weak, and his vocabulator was prone to static. Okay. So let's have a let's let's have a look at what we're dealing with here. So uh, melee shield, a Chani shield. Okay, you've got your clothing equipped, which means you don't have the dumb visor on your face. However, I need you to have. I do need to give her some stuff, so we can have a defense bonus here. Uh, oops. Um, let me see. Holy battle suit, defense bonus. Assault armor, but it's heavy. I don't know if heavy armor is the best. An environmental suit, the neophyte armor, persuade and charisma. Um, oh, strength plus one on the battle armor. And a dexterity bonus of one might give the battle armor. What do you look like? Hell yeah. Uh, now, Vices. Vices, I'm going to need to give you some stuff. Uh, awareness, Dex, and Wisdom. Let me give you those. Will, Wisdom, Regeneration, Reflex, Dex. Stealth plus two. Oh man. I don't, have the, I don't have the best stuff ever. I'm going to give you this utility belt. Uh, okay, so a 321 with an 18 to hit, and a 416 to 15 to hit. What, do you have the dual wielding skills there, or not? What is? What do you have? Yes, two weapon fighting. Okay, you do have two weapon fighting. You're okay to be in this situation, that's cool. Now, let me give you some clues. Give you the Dark Jedi Master robe. Nice, okay. And then... What do you have? You're doing unarmed. 14 to 41 with a 23 to hit, but if I give you your stuff, you do 8, 18, 5, 15, 23. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna keep you unarmed. I'll keep you unarmed. Okay. I just feel like this might be my best chance to get through the ship with these people. <laughs> I'm looking to survive. <laughs> right. So these guys are gonna have guns. I don't know if these droids switch to doing melee combat when um, Handmaiden gets up close. Do a shiny shield. And then Vices, you also do energy shield. Whoa. Oh, okay, and Vices just went down immediately. Vices just went down immediately, so that's good. Oh shit! Oh, we're not. This is okay. Okay. Yeah. So I'm fucked. Okay. Even choosing. They both died right next to each other. Alright, even choosing... Okay. I thought if I chucked on the energy shields and then attacked from up close, that would be cool. <laughs> let's, let's see if I can get through this. Okay, now... There is an auto save as we've been. Um, <laughs> there is a, an auto save at the moment. Um, at this point in time, so we'll see. We'll see how we go. 
if we can continue to, to do this. I feel like we can, I feel like we can do this, you know? I just need to believe in myself. Um, so let's do the Achani shield. Perception gloves. Okay. Now, let's put some clothes on so you get a defense bonus and the ability to regenerate force points. Alright, Vices does have the ability to level up. Now, I'm going to change real quick so they don't run into battle. Let's just change to ranged real quick. Uh, do the Achani shield. My life is yours. Do the Achani shield. Okay. Do force lightning. Oh, and okay. <clears throat> Shield's already out. Alright, go in for the attack. You also go in for the attack. You're attacking the wrong target, the handmaiden! Oh my god! You got this together, team, please. Okay. Okay. This level up. Oh my god! Alright, feats. Um, toughness? Toughness. Everyone everyone gets toughness so they can survive a little bit longer. Powers, right. Oh yes, Vices is the ability to heal. That's very nice. Uh, you know what? The ability to stun a droid is very good, I guess. Vices is gonna need to learn how to Deal with stunning droids. Okay, there's one. There's one! I need you to put the shield back on. Put the shield back on, handmaiden. Oh my god. How may I say? Heal the good. Heal good. Oh, we're, we're actually getting through it. We're getting through it! Holy shit! Handmaiden, anytime you want to fight, that'll be fine. Oh, oh! I love the HK, like, getting hurt. It's such a funny, like, voice line. Oh, Vices does not have many force points. Oh, my god. Oh, I just realized that Vices is not attacking. That's fine. Oh my god! Okay, we survived! Holy shit. Who's this droid? Utility droid. Alright. Remains. Alright. We did it. We did it, team. High five. Docking hatch. Okay. Let's have a look at the security console. I do have some computer skills because I w I'm wearing the belt. Um, em enter the current count to obtain full access. Like the current count of people in the room, there's three of us. Incorrect count. Console is locked in. Count is modified. Now let's talk to this droid. A root deep. Uh, computer access droid's memory core. You're able to un download a program file called Shutdown. Okay. I, I like that. That sounds good. Uh, let's just attempt to unlock the console with a spike. Ooh, okay, restricted access granted. And then we need to attempt to bypass security. I guess I need to use the other spike. Wait, what? Okay. I guess let's just... Oh, correct count of two entered. Full access granted. Haha! <laughs> uh, upgrade droid combat algorithms. That seems like a problem. Defense summary. Summary, audience chamber. Eight powerful turrets supported by several combat ready droids. <laughs> okay. Uh, interrogation chamber. The interrogation defenses have been reassigned. We do not have enough computer spikes to do any of this, so this is going to be a problem. Uh, exterior defense. A dozen, over a dozen powerful turrets. <laughs> interior defense. Over one dozen mines, they're not to be triggered by Goto droids. Ah. Um, hmm. Download program overload. Alright, let's download that program. 
Okay, so we've got some programs right now. Upgrading droid algorithm seems like a terrible idea. Okay, so what do we currently have with um, quests? This program will overload a system in an effort to maximize its performance. If you upload this program into the Goto Command Console, you'll be able to run it on any systems you have unlocked, and same with shutdown. This will program will attempt to shut down a system. Oh my god, okay. Why'd you do that, Vices? From a distance, please. Let's Um, shields. Do the energy shield. Oh man, this is gonna be this is gonna be a ride. I'm gonna be doing frequent quick saving. Yeah. Um. Actually, using um, I forget that I need to click on the portrait. Starboard commander, and this is melee related. Ah, oh, they're being healed. Oh my god! Oh god! And there's interrogation droids. Because why would there not be poison in the floor? Oh my god. Why would there not be... Of course there's poison in the floor. What do you expect? This one will fall. I'm here. Alright, can we take a sleep in these double beds and restore our health? <laughs> Alright, chemicals. I need to- I would love to get to a lab station. I would love to get to a lab station so I can craft me some- Some My nice little- serves. Some nice little heels or something. That would be very, very nice. Command console. Okay, systems control. Access restricted. Run program basic diagnostic. Containment cell force fields are active. Okay. Access minefield. Minefield is active. <laughs> We're not going to be able to do anything here. Program library. <clears throat> Only basic diagnostic can be run on restricted systems. Unlock restricted systems to gain full access. Upload programs. If I do overload and shut down, I don't think that's going to be a good idea. Overload allocates additional resources to a system while also disabling safeguards. May be dangerous. Check the program called shutdown. Attempts to disable a system. May be dangerous. Unlock restricted system. All programs can run on a system after it is unlocked. To unlock a system, you must acquire its access code. Oh my god. Let's check the remains of this droid has the access code for the containment cells. Unrestricted access to the containment system through the command console. Okay. 
Don't run on the middle of the room, it'll poison me. Alright, unlock containment cell system. It's now unrestricted. Now access containment cells. And now I can run the system, okay. Interesting, and we can run the programs. Do I have the programs infinitely, or only is it a one-time use? That's the problem here. I don't know if the... I don't know if it's a one-time use or not. I'm just gonna heal the handmaiden, and then I'm gonna quick save. What I want to do is I'm just going to test this out, and I'm going to see if uploading something gets rid of it from inventory. Let's run overload. Ah, oh, failure. Shutdown. Shutdown success. Containment cell force fields are inactive. Okay. Now if I check my inventory, do I still have... Oh, hang on. So, oh, I've uploaded them to this system, so now I should be able to use them, I can now use them infinitely on everything that is not restricted, I think. Okay, I think that's how that works. Alright, containment cell force fields inactive. Oh yeah, baby! Look at me go. Uh, we've got a security door and a security door. <laughs> That's the audience chamber. If I get to that audience chamber and I get Chris Blythe, we will be a trio powerhouse. I think that's what I need to focus on. I need to get... I have succeeded. Nice. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh man. Okay. Wait, what the fuck are you? Handmade. <laughs> All right, let's see. What do we got? Uh, get your charisma up a point, right? I think that's going to help. Put a point in the constitution. Do that. New power. Disable droid. I'm going to need it. Yes. It would be great if Vices actually fucking did something. I mean, the hand maybe actually did something. Oh my god! What are you now going on with the target? So much of this game is just getting absolutely overwhelmed with targets. Like, it's insane. So much of this game is just getting completely fucking overwhelmed with enemies. It's yes. crazy. Nope, no! You literally have the ranged uh, attitude on! <laughs> like, it actually has the ranged fucking attitude on! There's so many times where I feel like I'm doing the right thing. Like, I'm like, I put them on ranged attitude so they wouldn't go and run into danger. But they, I, as soon as I take my eyes off them, they go and run into danger. So many encounters in this game is just getting absolutely overwhelmed by enemies, and it shouldn't feel as hard as it is. Like, my characters aren't that fucking bad. They're not that underprepared. They're decently leveled. They have good stats. They do good damage. Like, they've got stuff on. I'm doing things in what seems like the right way. But the problem is we just get completely overwhelmed, and the character behavior is nonsense. And it hurts. Put on this energy shield. It hurts when we don't have like, like, can I can I stealth it through to? I'm here. Can I just stealth it to them instead? 
You know, stealth is nine. I feel like you could do it. Put on your little SD belt. I shall remain hidden. And maybe I could just do it this way. Where every opportunity. Let us test ourselves. Oh. Okay. Oh. Well. Well, this changes things. Go stealth. Go. The honor is mine. Don't talk to him, maybe. Fucking talk. Yes, my life is yours. Why can't Handmaiden no. target a power droid? I mean, why can't Lysus hand, like, target a power droid that's right in front of her? Yes, how may I serve? I'm here. I shall remain hidden. Okay. The honor is mine. Lysus, go over here. I'm here. Handmaiden is now going to stealth. Oh, now if I smack that open, I'm, I just... Because oh, all of these doors uh, are gonna... All these doors being closed as well means that I will fall out of... I will get out of stealth. Oh, now I can't go through here because the droid's just hovering there. <laughs> Uh, there's a security console here. Uh, I don't think I got poisoned. That was lucky. Uh, defense summary. Eight powerful turrets. <laughs> oh, <laughs> interrogation chamber defenses reassigned. Right. So this is just another option to look at this. Okay. I'm scared about the like upgrade droid combat algorithms. Like what? Why would I do that? Why I is that an option? Hidden. If only I could if I could overload all of the droids. Oh my god. Oh my god. If I could change the target parameters so the droids would attack everyone else. That would be nice. Another security console. This is just the same stuff again. I shall remain hidden. Okay. I need to go this way to get to the to get to the chamber with Chris Blythe. Console. That's a command console, but if I use it, I will. My stealth will. No, well, my stealth is off no matter what. Because I have to attack this door, which means my stealth will disappear. Right, I need to kill this maintenance droid because it heals everything. No! So if I get that droid out of here. Uh, oh, why is it in the doorway? Oh, the turrets. Uh, how did I even make it through there alive? Oh, there we go. <laughs> My life is what? Why is Vices... I have, so I have solo mode on. I have solo mode on. Why did Vices run into... <laughs> Why did Vices run all the way around to join? Okay, so it's impossible to stealth through that segment because I will have to hit a door anyway. So that's good to know. 
This is this is hard. Like this this game this game is just actually difficult. It's pretty fucking crazy too. I think there's just too many enemies. I think that's kind of like the issue. Is there, if there wasn't so many, every time I look into a room and I just see, like check a camera, there's, there's eight droids and 26,000 turrets waiting to shoot you down at a moment's notice if you even breathe in that room. I Not to mention they all fucking just have repeating blasters that- Look at my health! This game seriously has me re like evaluating my life choices. I was like, yes. Like seriously has me evaluating my, my choices. I'm tr trying to cancel attacks. It's the only part of the game that I, I do not enjoy, is, um, is the combat. Everything else is fine. I'm dropping the combat, I'm dropping the difficulty down. Um, because I'm not, I'm not having a good time with the difficulty, and I'd rather uh, at least have a nice time playing through the game and enjoy the story stuff than just suffer endlessly because there's there's no point to my just... life is yours in my in my personal opinion there's just no point in me suffering through this gameplay but i'm, I'm actually trying really hard <laughs> just to constantly fail um i'm i'm dropping the difficulty down because that, that that shit is not important to me it's like i don't i don't need some sort of like trophy to be like i beat the game on this difficulty because I really like the story I really like the game uh, and I really like like what's, what's going down but I I'm, I feel constantly overwhelmed and I'm really I'm really trying to not be a disappointed or be a downer about it either it's just it just doesn't feel nice it's just it's just too many too many enemies and they they just stay there and shoot me at a distance and they don't they don't come in to I can't try and guide enemies away to like lure them away from big groups because they barely come towards me. And I am also trying not to complain a lot about it because um otherwise it's just miserable. <laughs> It'd be nice if I could just do an ability without having to attack. Oh, there you go. You are coming now, finally. Actually, don't do the melee shield. Do the energy shield. Cancel that. Oh, now they all... Now they all... Now they all come together. I need to get this droid, because it keeps healing the rest of them. But now it's running away. <sighs> Quick handmaiden. Skip the whole combat scenario and just- oh my god. <sighs> just- just quickly run through the whole thing. Skip it all, baby. Alright, we've got the we've upgraded ourselves to the destroy droid power now. Ah! The door cannot be opened in two of them. Oh no! The door cannot be opened until all the turrets are destroyed. Oh no! <laughs> Ooh. You got this, Vices. You against the you against the world. Master heal, that's what I need now. 
Alright, let's get let's, let's get this shit out of the way. You got this, Vices. Vices is gonna take on this whole hallway. Watch this what's this shit? <laughs> Oh my god. You got this, Vices. The whole whole way means nothing to you. What are you doing? Use the shield. And what is what is Vices doing? Just stuck in place doing this over and over again. to full storm down. Love it. We got this. Fucking hell. Uh, no more level up options, so... Apparently Handmaiden is alive? No, she's not alive. Every time I equip my sh my energy shields, uh, we're out of force powers. Twenty million torture droids, twenty million turrets, twenty million droids, assault droids. <laughs> that one was me obviously just throwing in the towel and wanting to see if I could make it through that door, but obviously you have to deal with the with the turrets as well. And I want to, sh I want to, I want to show you this. I want to show you the fact that I am genuinely struggling with this because it's, it's actually quite, quite painful. Because I never, I didn't have any of these issues in the first game at all, and that was with me not even understanding the systems properly. That was me going through most of the game sort of like at a disadvantage of not fully maximizing my character's abilities or skills. Like I didn't understand that I was at a constant like chance to hit penalty and all that kind of stuff and in this game with like further knowledge of that and what I'm doing and like looking at that kind of stuff uh, it's just the fact that we're just getting outnumbered at every opportunity there's like when when we were Mira running through that area um, there was so many UB's guards that it was a joke um, running through here there's just so many enemies it feels really really fucking overwhelming and i know that there's going to be a lot of people that like are gonna watch this video and go man you fucking suck man you're annoying man this is frustrating and it's frustrating for me too and i know that like there were people that were upset with like how i handled the episode before that running through the ub's guards thing and getting disappointed but i am just trying to share a genuine struggle here that from a gameplay perspective i am actually really trying uh it's just like i I don't feel like this is a situation where it's like I'm genuinely sucking. There are obviously better ways to play, and I'm not doing every- I don't know each encounter, so I can't be prepared for that. Like, there's no way that I enter a situation like this and I go, alright, cool, I'm expecting 50 enemies in one room and to take them out with ease, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm expecting resistance when you go through this to have fights, but not to the level of insanity. Uh, so there's only so much that I can do, you know. I, f I probably should have, maybe I should have had an another ranged character. I can get to a point where I can get Vices with Destroy Droid, but I'm trying to like, level her up when she's kind of in an emergency. Makes me wonder as if we go a, if we go a different way. Can I? Can, there's there's going to be resistance in every room though. It's kind of the problem. Is I'll open a door and I'll go somewhere else. I'm gonna get fucking killed. If I was with if so if, if I was with Baudur, I'd be able to get this one open. Um, uh, can I change party members while I'm on the ship? Yeah, of course I'm unable to change my party at this time. So they're like, maybe if you had Baudur. Oh my god, well, <laughs> I 
Again, if I knew there was going to be a force field with a droid behind it, I could just change. I could just uh, have entered this one with Bowder instead. A challenge. Yeah. <laughs> a challenge. This door. Okay. So. My life is good. Ready. The fact that I have them on ranged um, stance means that, like, Mysis should be doing her force powers from a, a distance, right? Like, like I get that um, Handmaiden can't. Yes. I change her to stationary and she still runs to the droid. The honor is mine. Uh. You're getting healed through the door. Uh. <laughs> My life is good. <laughs> what is <laughs> the characters just stand still and don't do anything? <laughs> Program library. What, what can I do here? Let's have a look. I need to acquire the access code for this bad boy. So there's going to be a droid here that has the command code for this bad boy. Droid Molten Cannon. There's a bunch of turrets around there in that room, so that's going to be dangerous. If I open this door... <laughs> Oh, if I open this door, it's just going to be pain and suffering. All right. Let's do it. Then run back this way. Oh, they didn't even open the door. Okay. Door. Okay. Now run this way. Okay. Here we go. I'm here. Why is this run back this way? Get him, get him away from the turrets. My life is yours. Uh. We can do this. Uh. Why are you running away? Uh. Hopefully one of these droids isn't... Uh. It's, has the access codes. Still in combat, apparently. Combat mode engaged. It must be the turrets. Even though I'm nowhere near them. Hmm. Okay. I'm in combat. Why are you? <laughs> Why would Vices then run in that room and go and attack like the furthest enemy? And now look, I can't target I'm again. I don't understand the behavior of any of the of, of these characters. I don't understand. I clearly don't understand <laughs> like what compels them to um, 
attack specific enemies that are just not in their best interest to attack. Like, I gave Handmaiden the stationary... I, I gave Handmaiden the stationary thing. And she won't be stationary. She charges into battle. What is happening? Like, just... Vices. How may I serve? Just stop. It's, I'm just stuck in this very difficult part of the game where all I can do is like struggle, so it's hard to just not talk about it because it's a point where I'm like, I'm, I've changed their attitudes. It doesn't work. Because ranged doesn't even use force powers. I'm here. Stationary does not stay sta stationary at all. Uh, we're in combat mode because the, the turrets are dedicated to attacking us. I'm here. My life is yours. So I can't loot. I can't loot these bodies. Can't loot these bodies at all to see if they have the command codes to shut down any turrets because I'm stuck in combat mode permanently. And then I equip my energy shield and it's gone before I even do any other actions. Meanwhile, I sit here the whole time, and Handmaiden actually finally decides to be in a stationary thing and actually like, listens to yours. her commands when I don't want her to. Like, surely I'm not fucking crazy. Like, that the game just does- it, I feel like the game is just a fucking broken mess! I can't even run! I'm just like, what the fuck?! The- the-, the <laughs> I just can't even run! I get stuck on environments just trying to target enemies, dude. This is insane! Let us test ourselves. I can't even believe I'm making it through this segment right now. Whoa. Like, a genuine question. Did anyone have a similar experience? Am I alone in this? Am I the only one in the world that sucks at this game? <laughs> that can't make it through? I've read comments from a, quite a few of you that have said like there are points where you had to turn on god mode. Like, just like the fact that I've had people that have had to admit that they had to put on god mode to make it through parts of this game, I think says enough. I think that says a lot. You know? <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my god, I'm so happy to have my character back, holy shit. Like, I am so unbelievably happy to have my characters back. No cutscene, though. There is nothing for us to discuss. <laughs> Leave me alone. I honestly feel like this is just the biggest fucking train wreck. for yours. This is the biggest train wreck of all time. I can't even talk to Handmaiden about anything, because she's like, fuck off. <laughs> I... Felt you. Oh man. Heard you through the force. It was like a sound at the edge of hearing. And when I heard it, I found I could not ignore it. Interestingly enough, um, this you I have to talk to Vices manually to trigger this conversation. It's not an automatic thing. I serve my master. I am an emissary, a scout. 
My master was aware of a disturbance in the force. Are we having this conversation? Wait. There is little my master does not know. Oh, we're just having the... Wait, what? We're just having the conversation we can have with her on the ship. I... Okay. I will answer. Dude. <laughs> okay. Alright. Access power distribution. Switch docking hatch seal to secondary system. What is What is the secondary system? Status active, supporting the cloaking device. What? Okay. Secondary system. Okay. I received power distribution code. Okay. These sentry droids aren't doing anything. Oh, nice. Scavenger droid for components. Ah. Oh. Okay. I got components. Power down sequence from the bridge has frozen it in place. Nice. My computer skill, however, <clears throat> might not work. Hold on. Let me let me equip some stuff that might increase my computer skills. I need to put that on. I'm just so happy that I actually I have gotten back my main character because holy crap. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm very happy. We'll see, we'll see how long this actually lasts. Alright, let me put on this. Give me some more computer use skill. Success! Yay! Nice. Switch defense protocol to include me. Nice. If someone chooses to protect me, to attack me, it'll protect me. Nice. Success. Nice. Okay. Let's put that back on. Honestly, the fact that I have my team together now and I've got three people and I have the ability to do lightsaber stuff makes me very happy. Now I'm going to take off the short lightsaber and I'm going to stick it on Vices. You can have the short lightsaber. <laughs> here we go. I think we, can, I think we can get out of here. If there were just less, if there were just less uh, enemies, I don't think we'd have anywhere near as many issues. I think that's just, it's just really it. Alright, we've unlocked power dis uh, distribution. Run program overload, restricted to bridge, and run program shut down, restricted to bridge. Oh, okay. I think we can just, we should just be able to get out of here. I don't, I feel like if I explore the rest, it might be... A terribly, terribly painful decision, but I do have multiple destroy droids and force powers and heals now, so I think we might actually be okay. <laughs> if I stop running over the poison in the middle of the room. Oh, actually, oh. I shall honor them with battle. Yeah, look. Now that now that I have my life is now that I've got my main boy back. Holy shit! <laughs> A challenge. Life feels good again. What's Vices doing? I shall honor them with nothing. Here. Sweet Honestly. nothing, Vices. Until I until I target her character. Let me put you I think I can change everyone back. Ready. As soon as I have Chris Blythe, I'm not stressed. Which is which is a problem, because I feel like that's gonna continue to be a problem that'll echo through the rest of the game. Is like seemingly as soon as my main character is <laughs> is out of the mix, I'm in trouble. I'm here. Or at least as soon as I don't have like a good party of three. Okay, 
this droid doesn't have the command code. See what happens. They oh. have gotten farther than I calculated. They are very resourceful, but they shall go no farther. Deploy the guard droids. Raise the force fields. We will trap them within the ship. Activate the mines. Oh god. Let us see how far they get now. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Fragmine, deadly. Can't target it. Why can't you target it? Don't you have the ability to... You have the ability to destroy droid, don't you? Okay. Is this because they're going to force us into a situation where we have to deactivate the mines on the command console instead? Oh, no way. So both these turrets are mines. Okay. I didn't even run over the center. <laughs> It's crazy how much difference my main character's addition to uh, the party makes. It is, it's definitely night and day, like this, these rooms now don't become a challenge. And that is even with dropping the difficulty down when I had two of them. And it's finally a lab station. Okay, uh, I can make med packs and stuff with chemicals. Not many, but I can make them. Okay. I need to break down some other things so I can have more stuff. So I get some more. I'm gonna say I don't. I think like the mines have like the best use when you know what's coming, and <laughs> I do not. Okay. Really, the best thing for me is to break them down for components so I can actually make stuff. Like I need, I need. <laughs> so when I get caught in these problems, when I, I can at least heal when I don't have force users in my team. of bound air in my team so all these force fields are gonna stay up just seeing if there's any people in them there's just two droids in each in each one of these little containment sectors security door It's weirdly empty. <laughs> now it's just weirdly empty in here. Actually, can I... Let me look at my lightsaber. Um, let me... Use the workbench to upgrade items. Hold on, let me have a look at my lightsaber. Currently have the okay. expert deflection emitter. Bolt deflection is four. Can change my crystal color if I want now. I think I've got good stuff on here in general. But these, I need to upgrade these. There we go. I need to upgrade this.
Nice. Change the color. And then... Check on what I have. Yes! I like the different the, the color choices in this game. The cyan crystal is the one that I'm talking about. The cyan color is the one that's very much like the original lightsaber color in A New Hope. Not the, um, not the Viridian color. Cyan's the one. So now all these rooms are just empty. <laughs> a riot buster. What is a riot buster? Sonic damage. Okay. Another security console. So it's just all these summaries. So all the security consoles, I think, do the same thing. It's just you can just look at a summary of things. But we need to get command codes for the command consoles. But a lot of the droids that we've killed don't have them. Okay, we need to override the docking hatches on the bridge. Nice, okay. I've managed to open up a decent amount of this room. That is good. I would have thought I thought these droids were gonna follow me when I did the computer skill, but nothing. Is this auxiliary console? Access four, I'm gonna log out. Command console. Yeah, so if I... Power distribution. Run program overload. Operated restriction to bridge console only. Hang on. Uh, so I think I need to go through the mines. To get there. Can I just can I just get onto the Evan Hawk and leave? <laughs> Am I able to do that? Can I just go to the Evan Hawk and go? Do I just have that option? Or is this hatch sealed? I need to do it from the bridge. Yes. <laughs> so I need to go through these mines. Seemingly the only way that I can uh, go through these mines is I think I gotta I might even have to just tank the damage because um, it doesn't give me the option to destroy them with the force. Any handmaiden can try and disable them. Because the droid that we killed here doesn't have the access codes to the command console. Ready. Yes, yeah, so the I guess maybe because they're called deadly ones that the I can't. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Oh man, okay. Fuck. Hang on. Uh, why can't I talk? Why can't I talk to you? Go back, go back, go back. A weakness is here. Yeah. 
Oh, they're just gonna run. Don't run. Uh, hang on. Don't run. Please don't run through the mines. We got solo mode on. We just need those guys to chill the fuck out. I'm here. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Okay, Chris Blythe managed to make it through without getting blown up. Handmaiden got got blown up. Alright. Now that I have the like now that I've got two Jedi on my team with healing abilities, I'm gonna just do the level ups for these characters. So I can get their skills up. Because they need it. This so you can get your shit sorted. Oh yeah, finesse with a lightsaber. Oh no, your yeah, your dexterity is high. I need to give you finesse with a lightsaber. Yeah, that's one that you probably should have had a long time ago. Let um, me give you a force storm. Perfect. Okay, we're heading through to the bridge. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> I suggest you surrender. Your chances for escaping this vessel are near zero, and your chances of survival are rapidly approaching that number. Your ship and your lives are mine. The only question is how much resources you want me to expend in subduing you. room are we in? Central command. Okay. I'm here. The honor is mine. We can do this. There's so many mines, dude. <laughs> And there's so many droids. Because hmm. this isn't the bridge, so I can't... Also, seemingly can't bait these droids into. Here they come. There is nothing for us to discuss. <laughs> Leave me alone. Fucking handmaiden, dude. Just a constant reminder that I fucked up. I get it. guys doing? You don't have ranged attacks that you guys can do together? To battle, I shall honor them with that. Let us test ourselves. Oh. Weakness is revealed. Why is this one falling backwards? Oh, we can you. Soon you shall know pain. Ready. <laughs> Wonderful. Gonna 
tank this damage real quick. <laughs> Just fucking tank that damage real quick. <laughs> Heal ourselves. Let's progress. Gosho is confident with all those mines. What he doesn't realize is I'm an absolute madman. I'm just gonna run right through them all. Because <laughs> it's the only option that I have. We're on the bridge! <laughs> uh, more explosions. Alright. Bridge command console. I can now activate uh, power distribution. Shut down. Secondary power offline, attach system is disabled. Ooh, primary power system is overriding. Okay, so I've done shutdown. Proximity warning, cloaking device disabled, multiple ships on intercept course. More visitors. I don't know how many more of these pests I can disintegrate. Ah, uh, what remains of the bounty hunters have found me. Oh my god. Now it is time to cue the detonation sequence. Okay. They just appeared! You're welcome to try, big eyes. If we were not here before, Goto would drill holes through your body like a nest of hungry Sviro worms. Get him! Fuck him up! Prepare yourself. <laughs> Okay, now I gotta deal with a ship full of bounty hunters too. Primary power system. Status active. Status inactive. Aha! The docking hatch seal is open, so we can go back to the Evan Hawk now, I think. Oh, well, go to a ship has been fun. Access code. Ah, oh, so we got the access code to the droid controller. Holy crap! The droid controller command console is all the way on the bridge. Wow. <laughs> so unlock droid control system. Droid controller. Shut down. Droids disabled. You have to get to the end to disable the droids. That's weird. You'd think you'd be able to, you know, disable the droids before you've dealt with all of the droids. A challenge. Oh, they really saving that stasis field. Never mind. Wait. Wait. Mechana Crave Mopa. Finally we meet the exile, you should tell your companion that he should strike to kill not wound. Oh, they lived. They survived. I was so confused for a second, I'm like, I thought we killed them. I thought we killed them. I shall honor them. Well, I guess we killed them now. <laughs> okay. We're just going, we're just running through all the bounty hunters on our way out of here, are we? And there's some more Gand. Gotta love the Gand. I'm definitely not, definitely not tired of Gand at this point. We are gonna love the Gand. Friendly, friendly Gand. The Gand genocide of Knights of the Old Republic 2. We have slaughtered hundreds of these. Kill him! 
A weakness is revealed. I shall honor them with battle. Leaving. <laughs> My God. What a disaster. <laughs> I can't believe we just blew up Godot's yacht. That's going to destabilize crime throughout this whole sector. Yeah, well, you'll understand if I hold back the tears. You don't understand. Crime in the YouTube system, it's like the economy. Plus the power vacuum. Even if Voga gets up and running again, the system is going to be feeling the effects for years to come. Yeah, well, at least we didn't find that Jedi Master with the weird name. Zez, Kai, whatever it is. Zez Kyle? Um, well, that's not true. I already found him. Actually, he found me first. He hired me to watch out for you, keep Goto off your back, until he could meet with you. Oh. We'll need to head back to Nar Shaddaa. To that safe house off the docks. I said I'd meet up with him there if we ran into any trouble. What do you want now? If you thought to escape my notice so easily, you would be wrong. As a token of my goodwill, I present to you a gift, this droid. It will serve you well on your journey. What? How did we let the, how did this droid get on the ship? How did you get on my ship? I'm afraid I do not understand what you mean. Okay. Tell me more about the droid. As I indicated, this unit will remain with you and guard you. It will also serve as an effective voice for my orders during your journey. How do I know it won't try and kill me? I cannot harm you. You are the key to saving the Republic. Pray that you do not prove yourself otherwise. Geoteo has joined your party? He has special powers over droids and cannot set off mines. Do we actually just get a probe droid? Like an, an Imperial torture droid as a party member? Let's get to Nashada. <laughs> what? Okay. So, you have returned from exile. Kavar thought you might, if only to wander your old battlegrounds. But I did not think you would come to Nar Shada. Still, you were always a difficult one to read, both when you were tied to the Force, and even more when it was lost to you. Why did Kavar think I would return from exile? I do not know. It was a sense he had, and he had served in war as you had. Perhaps he thought he understood you, or maybe he simply hoped he did. He felt you were the key to understanding the threat we face. The others were not so certain. But so many of them are gone now, as you no doubt know. Why me? Uh, he sensed some connection between you and many of the worlds touched by war. He thought by traveling to such places, he could achieve understanding. I have questions I want answered. No doubt. I think the answers will provide us both with some measure of peace. I have kept secrets for far too long. Where are all the Jedi? They have scattered. But there is purpose in their movements. It is both to hunt and draw out our enemies. Somehow, they, we, are being targeted through the Force. And when Jedi gather, we are vulnerable. So we have chosen places where it is difficult to sense others through the Force, whether on planets dense with life or touched by war. In such places, we may conceal ourselves, gather information without presenting ourselves as targets. It was part of Kavar's plan. Plan? Yes, he felt <clears throat> if our enemy cannot detect us, then perhaps they would believe themselves victorious and show themselves. And we knew that the war would be lost if we continued to act as we had. I do not know where they wander now. There are few of us, though. Too few. And I have not heard from them in some time. Okay, I encountered Vrook upon Dantooine. Vrook still lives. I had not felt his presence for some time. Okay, are other questions? What I can tell you, I will. Um, what happened to them? It is a long story, 
But there is no harm in you knowing. And someone should know. Only a handful of us remained after the Jedi Civil War. Barely a hundred in number. Then, even that hundred began to vanish. In places where the Force seemed blind. The only pattern we determined is that when Jedi gathered, they were seen no more. At the last Jedi Conclave on the Miraluka world of Qatar, the entire planet was wiped out. An entire race destroyed because the Jedi chose to gather there. It was only then that we realized we were facing something far more powerful than we knew how to fight. Why did you hide? We could not allow the fact that when we gathered, we placed everything around us at risk. A Jedi's life is sacrifice, but we cannot allow our presence or actions to endanger others. And we could not fight an enemy that will not reveal itself. But any Jedi, anyone who was strong in the Force, who attempted to track down such a threat, vanished without a trace. That makes no sense. It does, but you must step back to see it. Whatever this threat was, it was targeting us and everything around us. Yet it was somehow weak enough that it was afraid to confront us openly. If it believed us defeated, then perhaps it would finally show itself. It was a faint hope, but it was the best we had. It was Kavar's plan. He was always the greatest tactician among us, and had seen war more than the rest of us. Very well. I need to know why you cast me out of the Order. We told you it was because you followed Revan to war, but you ask because you are not certain of that answer, nor were we. The day we cast you out, that is the moment I decided to leave the Order, because I do not believe we truly faced the reasons you were exiled, and if we do not examine such truths, then we are already lost. I think it was because we were afraid. It is a difficult thing to live one's life with the Force. To see a vision of what it would be like to be severed from it, it is more frightening than you know. Very well. Okay. Why are you on Nar Shaddaa? I had thought perhaps that here upon the Smuggler's Moon, I might find some evidence of the threat we faced. The bounties on Jedi and their disappearance. I did not believe the two were connected, but there was a chance. And the strong currents of life here on Nar Shaddaa make perceiving a Force user difficult. I could use it to cloak my movements and watch without being discovered. Okay. <clears throat> Very well. Why did you cut me off from the Force? Is that what you think? We did no such thing. But it is a technique that has been used as punishment in the past, yes. It is a rare sentence, and to my knowledge it has only been done once, at a moment where a Jedi discipline has failed. What caused your loss, I fear, was different. I am not certain I understand it. We did not understand it fully then, and only recently do I feel we may have become enlightened. The other Masters may have more knowledge of this, but I do not and I do not know if they even live. Does it matter? It seems your power has returned. Perhaps the loss was not a loss at all. Very well. At the end of my trial, you and the other masters said something had happened to me. What was it? Ah, so the records of your trial were found. Good. Sometimes I think this galaxy would be a better place if there were less Jedi secrets. But I have no answer for you, as much as I would like to give one. We vowed never to speak of it, and although I would not keep promises to Jedi, I keep promises I make to others. And Kavar was a friend. If we were gathered as one, then the promise might be revoked. Until then, I can say nothing. Play more of the game to get the answer. Very well. Do you know anything of Force Bonds and how to end them? Yes, such bonds are a connection that can be formed at moments of crisis, or in the slow understanding that grows between master and apprentice. It is most common between two beings who are sensitive to the Force. It allows the transmission of feelings of influence. It was something you were gifted with, as I recall, before your fall. You form such attachments easier than most, even to those who could feel the Force only faintly. Even Vrook could not ignore it, which is saying something. Hmm. Is there any way to remove such a bond? I do not know. A bond between two living beings is not something easily broken. It is not a choice. It is like breaking a feeling. Like turning away from the Force. To break a bond, 
your feelings would have to change, or one of you would have to die. But even then, the bond wouldn't go away. It would simply... It would simply be empty. A wound. Damn. Very well. Okay. And then, why is it... I have heard enough. Prepare to die. <laughs> why is that in the questions list? Yes, it is... It was even... That is most unusual and unnatural. I have never heard of a bond of such strength. How would I end it? There were a few within the Order who knew more than I did of such bonds, but their students were few, lost in the Mandalorian Wars. It was rumored that Revan studied such bonding deeply, both through the Jedi histories and with certain teachers, before he left the Order and went to war. That is all I wish to know. What happens now? Now... Now I must take up the role I was ready to cast aside. This threat has finally revealed itself, and we Jedi will need to stand together. I did not speak fully of what I have felt. Staying on Nar Shaddaa, it is an exile of sorts, one that I have chosen. I, too, lost a Padawan on Malachor, not to the battle, but to the alternative, to the teachings that Revan brought from the unknown regions. And I was not the only Jedi Master to watch a student turn on them. Hmm. To fight in the Mandalorian Wars was no betrayal. No, no. They were not to blame. But many of the Order did so. It was a difficult time. A time of strong emotion. Perhaps the Council, perhaps the Order itself, had grown arrogant in their teachings. It is easy to cast blame, but it is perhaps time the Order accepted responsibility for their teachings and their arrogance and come to recognize that perhaps we are flawed. Not once did I hear one of the Council claim responsibility for Revan, for Exar Kun, for Ulik, for Malak, or for you. Yet, you were the only one who came back from the wars to face our judgment. And rather than attempting to understand <coughs> Why you did what you did, we punished you instead. Our one chance to see where we had gone wrong, and we cast it aside. And now, that decision has come back to us, and may carry with it our destruction. Perhaps there is something wrong in us, in our teachings. And though I tried, I could not cause that thought to leave me. So I left the council. And I was not the only one. That is why many scattered and why many in the Republic do not trust us, and why we do not trust ourselves. Make no mistake, I am no Jedi. This is the end, you see. After this, there will be nothing, and I think it will be for the best. Do you wish to do battle now? I have nothing more to say. That dialogue was awesome. The, the, some of the stuff that this guy's delved into has been really, really cool, and I genuinely love that he's also spoken about, you know the failings of the Jedi and the council. Cause it's something that I think the fan base of, especially the prequels collectively looks at, which is the Jedi and their hubris. You know, they allowed themselves to, uh, get uh, they were too, too powerful, too on top. They got comfy, you know, and it was their downfall. And I really like how he, he's addressed that. This is the stuff. See, this is the, the double edged sword of the playthrough so far. I think is this, the dialogue, the writing, the ideas in this game that we're being presented with 10 out of 10. So good. Um, the gameplay is just really dragging it down, unfortunately. That's like the moment that I'm struggling with. So uh, pushing through that gameplay is worth it to get to these lovely dialogue pieces. They're, like, they're so good. Hey, we're not, I'm not going to fight this guy. Come on, man. But Revan redeemed himself. Certainly that must give you some hope. It provides no comfort at all. For reasons in which I still must keep secret. Damn. Suffice to say, redemption was not Revan's choice. I mean, yeah. And I have never believed those of the council who attempt to console themselves otherwise for the crime they committed. Yeah. He w yeah, because he was he was uh, memory wiped and then forced to be a good guy. I, mean, I get it. I get it. Is there anything you can teach me? Oh God, what's happening? But we have spoken enough, I think. In words, I think dull us both. Let us speak through the Force, through sparring. 
This is a long war, I fear, with many battles left to fight. You will need to conserve your strength when using the Force, if you hope to make it through the long road ahead. This form heightens your affinity to the Force, allowing you to gather your strength faster, even in the midst of combat. Cool. Perhaps exile has been good to you indeed. It has certainly not dulled your instincts, nor the speed at which you learn. I shall go to Dantooine, to the ruins of the Enclave. If you gather the others, I will meet you there. And thank you, exile. Your returning, it is good that you are back among us. Nice conversation. Cool. Journal entry added. You encountered Zez Kael on Nar Shaddaa and spoke with him. He agreed to meet you at the Jedi Enclave on Dantooine when you had united all the Jedi Masters. Okay, we're by ourselves and we are back. Wow, it's actually a party member. And it's Gotio, Goto. Alright, can I add people to my party? Nice. Um... <laughs> Well, it's certainly not a party member that I was expecting. <laughs> what? Oh, why? <laughs> why? Oh, why is that a party member? Oh, that's so weird. That's bizarre. Cool. We're gonna. I'm gonna keep having some conversations with characters briefly. I want to talk to Atten because we've got something to address with him, and we'll have a talk to Goto, and we'll see if there's anything to talk to him about as well. But um, yeah, Goto's ship was really tough, right? Like that's kind of like the thing is like, I'm sorry that I'm complaining because it kills me to do it. It kills me to be upset because I don't want to be because it's it's a it's a it's a complaint and it's a frustration because of how much that I care, you know, like of actually going through this. And I feel like I'm I'm in a hot seat and I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place because uh, it's like, I don't want to, you know, complain a lot, but I also want to be genuine and share with you my actual feelings and, and frustrations that are going through. So I want to showcase that, you know, through the episode that you can be like, I'm struggling, but I'm trying. Um, and... I, I feel like, you know, based on some comments I've received on the playthrough already, that it doesn't seem like I'm alone in this, that this game has some very janky encounters that overwhelm you with just a lot of enemies, <coughs> with a lot of enemies, and it's a, it's a struggle. Um, and genuinely, I have no pride in the sense that I don't care about wielding a medal that it's like, ah, I completed this game on this difficulty. Genuinely don't care. There are people that are very, very particular about game difficulty. All I care about is enjoying the story and having fun in your video games. Um, overall, it should not subtract from the experience, so I don't mind just dropping the difficulty down um, to experience the best part of this game, which is the story. Uh, the story, the writing, these character interactions is something I'd really like to highlight and focus on. And I feel like if I spend most of the game being frustrated at the gameplay, I won't then be in a, a mood to absorb information and exposition and stuff. So it's a it's uh, something that I feel is necessary because this game just throws a shitload of enemies at you when you have to pick characters that might not be equipped or prepared because enemy like your characters are taken out of your party at will and obviously if you have them equipped with your good stuff you can't take it off and put it on your other characters you need to really make sure you have all of your characters really well equipped really well leveled prepared for anything and I'm going to try and focus on doing that a little bit more making sure all of my characters are equipped in case there's a situation where it's like oh no it's the fucking imperial torture droid solo mission time and you have to try and make it through 10,000 enemies as a probe droid <laughs> you know <laughs> it's it's crazy uh, so to highlight the parts of the playthrough and the game that I am enjoying the most which is the story interactions and the, and the dialogues and characters and all of that stuff like Gonna ease back that difficulty. But it's crazy that as soon as Chris Blythe is in the party, everything, like even on normal difficulty, it's fine. I feel like I can just confidently go into encounters, but every time I'm with other characters, they get shredded. Absolutely shredded and, and outnumbered. Um, so it's, it's hard. And I think, you know, 
it, it, it wouldn't be as much of an issue if I was just playing the game in my own time. I think this is another thing that I really need to, you know, you guys have to be aware of at all times as well, is when I'm... I don't want to sit in this chair <laughs> and just have to repeat the same room thousands of times or, you know, experience that um, that jank over and over and over again when I have to do an, uh, an episode which I want to structure to be a little bit more cohesive and not just pain. I don't think anybody wants to watch nothing but pain, <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, but if I was just playing in my own time, it wouldn't be anywhere near as much of an issue. And this is why I think a lot of people have said, look, to get through this section, I had to put on God mode, you know what I mean? Like, some people all have their ways to, uh, to get through um, these games. Especially when they've got a little bit of a uh, little bit of random scattered difficulty spikes throughout them. But let's talk to some characters because Atten has something to answer for. I think something up. I had some questions for you. All right, what did you want to know? Yeah, there we go. So when we we're in the refugee sector, we had some people mention Atten, and they said, "Hey, man, watch out for that guy." I met someone on Narshada who said he knows you. Yeah, that's a surprise. Did he say I owed him credits too? He says you're not Atten at all, that you showed up on Narshada during the Jedi Civil War. I'm as Atten as Atten will ever be. And whoever your trusted informant is, he's right. I did show up on Narshada during the Jedi Civil War, along with a lot of other refugees. Is there anything you want to tell me? No, because you're asking about it. If I wanted to tell you anything, I would have come and told you. Anything else? Calm down, I just wanted to know. No harm meant. Is this an interrogation? If so, you're terrible at it. Especially for an ex-Jedi. Or whatever you are. Why don't you just crawl in my head and try to dig out whatever you're looking for rather than asking about it? I wouldn't do that again. You know what? I helped you get off, Paragus. If I hadn't been there, you wouldn't have even gotten off the administration level. I'm <coughs> trying to help you. I don't know why I'm bothering. Actually, if I had been trapped in the administration level on Paragus, the Sith would have arrived through the airlock and tried to capture me. Yeah, well, I... I still helped you. Sort of. Maybe you shouldn't look a free Ronto in the mouth before you buy it. <laughs> you should if a hut is giving it to you. You know what? Not once have I asked you about the Mandalorian Wars. Not once. I heard about Duxon. Everyone has. I heard about Serico, and I sure as hell know about Malachor V. What makes you think you've got the right to interrogate me on anything? You've got plenty of lives to answer for. All you Jedi do. If you've got a question, then ask. How did you even live with yourself after Malachor? Is that why you went back to the Jedi Council? Hoping they'd kill you? It wasn't like that. Wasn't it? Maybe you thought they'd forgive you. Sure, you might have thought they'd execute you. But Jedi don't kill, do they? At least not their prisoners. Maybe you were counting on it when you went back in chains. So you got off easy. You were exiled, brushed under the cargo ramp. Another dirty little Jedi secret. I'll tell you. All those Jedi at Malachor? They deserved it. Every last one of them. Okay, Atten. There must be some reason you believe as you do. Why? Because Jedi lie. And they manipulate. And every act of charity or kindness they do, you can drag it out squirming into the light and see it for what it is. The galaxy doesn't need Jedi arrogance or Jedi hypocrisy anymore. What do you mean? At least the Sith are honest about what they're killing for. The Jedi are pacifists, except in times of war. They're teachers, except when it comes to telling their students the truth. And when they save you, it's only so you can suffer more. You are wrong, Atten. That is not the way of the Jedi. Whatever. Just leave me alone. I don't know why I'm wasting my time with you anyway. I'd like to know about your past, especially if we're traveling together. Well, don't get too attached to me. I don't like it. Why not? It's because I'm a deserter. It's what I do. You served in the war? Served in both of them. Against the Mandalorians, before and after Revan, and again, when Revan declared war on the Jedi. I didn't know you served with the Republic. I did. 
Up until the Republic officers began to betray their oaths to the Republic and side with Revan, Admiral Kareth, Mon Halan, General Darid, and all the rest. Right after that final battle at Malachor, I was right there with the rest of the defectors, because it was the right thing to do. Huh. You took an oath. What you did was a betrayal. No, it wasn't. We needed the Jedi during the Mandalorian Wars, more than anything. The Mandalorians were slaughtering us by the millions. The millions. You were at Serico, when they turned the Starib cities into glass craters. At Duro, when basilisk war droids rained like meteors onto the orbiting cities. And when the Mandalorians set fire to the Zoxan Plains on Ares III, the fires that still burn. Without the Jedi who turned on the Council, without you, the Republic would have lost the war and we would all be Mandalorian slaves or corpses. So Atten hates that we all did stuff during the war, but then was like, without you guys, we'd all be Mandalorian slaves. So Atten joined the Sith. Instead, you all became Sith. If that's what you want to call knowing when to fight and when to kill, then yes. But you can't really break down people into Sith and Jedi and expect everything to make sense. We were loyal to Revan. That was enough. He saved us. So you followed Revan, like I had. It's another story, and it's ah! nothing I feel like talking about. I did a lot of things I'm not proud of, and I couldn't do it anymore. Damn, okay. We're getting into some stuff. Alright, what did you want to know? It's another story, and okay. it's not- I gotta get some more influence. Alright. The handmaiden lost her temper with me. Well, there's a surprise. <laughs> I'm pretty sure me. we already went She's through a this. Handful. Look, I know how it is. You have it worse. <laughs> Women want to save you. What are you talking about? They think that everyone can be redeemed, and you don't know if it's you. Are you talking about me or you? <laughs> We're just talking. It's possible they don't- We yeah. all lose our way some- We've definitely already had this conversation before. Don't remember. True. But all this talk doesn't matter. Okay, influence gained. I'm gonna try the conversation again. Something up. Alright. It's another story. Damn it. Okay, I need to get some more influence with Atten. But that's a start. There's something there underneath the surface of this man. Yes. Is there something you have come to offer me? Considering I saved you, you could be more grateful. The fact we are even having a conversation is gratitude. Usually, my conversations do not have the give and take that our current interaction does. And, of course, there is much more screaming on the part of the listener when the torture field is activated. I am willing to indulge some of your questions. Okay, so we can talk more about this stuff. Do you know anything about the HK droids sent after me? The assassin droids. I have encountered some <clears throat> who purchased the service of others. Okay, why are they hurting? Uh, why are they hunting me? Why? I asked them to. To be honest, I believe that was always their intention, but it seems their directive was dormant for some time. Do you know where they're coming from? If you mean produced, no, I do not. I do know that there are a surprising number scattered throughout the Republic fleet searching for you. What they will do now that you are found is easy to predict. So I need to have HK in my party and when we encounter them... They're gonna come after me? Of course they are. They're droids with very specific protocols that unless changed will dictate their movements. Unless you shut them down at the source, they will be stalking you until you are captured or terminated. Why don't you ask their predecessor? That archaic memory-impaired assassination <laughs> droid will know more about his subsequent generations than I would. Okay. What are they doing in the Republic fleet? They are masquerading as protocol droids. I have discovered that when they are used in negotiations, they have a predictable pattern of sabotaging whatever peace treaties they are involved with. Why doesn't the Republic know? Because the Republic has no reason to investigate otherwise. And any discovery of their true purpose has been concealed by well-timed accidents. Okay, why haven't you acted on this information? Because their behavior is predictable, of course. 
By monitoring their presence, I know which worlds will suffer civil wars, planetary conflicts, and republic bombardment. Okay. You may... On the yacht, you mentioned Revan, but Revan sought to destroy the Republic. A common misconception not supported by facts. Revan did not intend to destroy the Republic. He deliberately left the infrastructure of many planets intact, and many military production facilities. But why? Revan had limitless forces. I believe that by whatever means he used to build his armada, he recognized that it was somehow a limited source or that he was only willing to use it to a point. My prediction is that whatever production facility was being employed, it carried a price that Revan perceived as detrimental to the goals of the Sith. And that is why Revan left many military production facilities in the Republic intact. But why? Revan wouldn't need to conquer anything else once the Republic was beaten. That is what occupies my calculations as well. I believe that Revan saw a war on another front that we did not, or saw the value in keeping a strong military force. Interesting. Do you know where Revan got his forces? That is also a mystery to me. I do not have any evidence upon which to build an answer. It is significant that after the defeat of Malak, the forces decreased considerably, and after Revan's departure from known space, production ceased completely. It is my prediction that whatever was producing such forces needed a strong, effective leader to ensure its stability. Without Revan or Malak, there was no such figure left among the Sith. What about Malak? Unlike Revan, Malak demonstrated no concern for the future of the Republic in his attacks. His stratagems were painfully obvious, intending to crush all resistance everywhere. There was little thought beyond the complete destruction of anything that opposed him. He left quite a mess. I'm still trying to assess all the damage. Between the two, I would have preferred Revan rule the galaxy. He had foresight in his conquest, a subtlety that Malak did not possess. I you wanted me to save the Republic. How is that possible? There are several factors, all of which affect each other. There is the stabilization of Dantooine, the preservation of the restoration efforts on Telos, uh, the political resolution on Onderon, and the unification of a religious power base in the galaxy, either Jedi or Sith. So he wants me... So basically it's go to each planet and do the thing. <laughs> like go to each planet, do the thing on the planet, and then light side or dark side have your religious power base in, in, in effect. Okay. Is there anything you can do to help those systems and their people, either with information or resources? The destruction of my yacht and of all my activities on Nar Shaddaa carry a cost that would take you several lifetimes to pay back. But perhaps the offer of credits will spur you to act quicker, more decisively. I am not unsympathetic to such greed. For every system you stabilize, I will reward you for your efforts. Okay. I'll get paid, man. <laughs> if you have the credits, that's all I needed to hear. See that you do not disappoint me. <coughs> okay. Let's. Uh, so, what needs to be stabilized? There is the stabilization of. Oh, okay. Tell me about Dantooine. You have stabilized Dantooine. The Republic has gained a power base in the outer rim. I resolved the situation on Dantooine and expect my reward. You have done well, and the stability you have caused shall be rewarded. I have arranged a transfer of funds from certain interests within the Republic to you. Nice. There is this. Uh, restoration efforts on Telos? Telos is instrumental to the stability of the Republic. Its success or failure will dictate the economic forecasts of many other worlds. Of course, since the destruction of the Paragus facility, the odds of the Telos restoration project being successfully completed is close to zero. Uh, okay. Well, I, I need to speak to Voga to get the fuel source for Telos. I'm getting tired of being blamed for Paragus. Then stop causing events of planetary destruction. <laughs> you are a walking <laughs> catastrophe, and you are not making saving the Republic oh, any God. easier. Okay. It wasn't my fault. Of course.
course it was. If you had not gone there, the facility would not have been <coughs> destroyed. I was if you asleep. Had simply surrendered to the Sith, then all of that violence would have been unnecessary. I was sleeping. That wasn't an option either. I hope you do not decide that the next thing that must be destroyed to stop the Sith is the galaxy itself. <sighs> Uh, Perhaps one must ask themselves at what point defending your religious ideals is advantageous to the Republic as a whole. As long as your defense does not exterminate more than 50% of those you intend to help, is that acceptable? We'll pull a Thanos and we'll uh, split the galaxy in two. Alright. You may speak. Uh, okay, well, we still need to do some Telos stuff. But it's good, we can talk to him. Once we've done the stuff on the main planets. Um, that's cool. Where is your base of operations? Now, now, that would be telling. Of course. For now, my presence must remain a secret. And it may remain that way forever. Okay. Okay. Dark side points. Interesting! Alright, well, speaking to Atten and getting some influence with him has led to uh, an interesting... Just say the word. ...an interesting conversation about his, um... You know... About his past. So, I'm excited to get into that a little bit more. There's one party member remaining. Uh, so there we go. We've done Narshadar. We can go to the entertainment sector, and I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna do the entertainment sector. Let me get <laughs> Goto out of here. I'm gonna br I'm gonna sit HK in my party uh, just in case, um, just in case we encounter any assassin droids. Um, now we can level a we can level a bunch of people up if we want. Uh, however, at this point in time, I'm just thinking about saving it because my character is already quite strong. Right now, I'm just saving it in case my characters need uh, to quickly get, like, a health boost if we get in trouble. So I'm purposefully holding back on that for now. Oh my god! This was not anticipated. I am attempting to access my weapon That was so perfectly timed! That's so perfectly timed! <laughs> So whenever I have HK in the party, they're all like, we cannot fire, and then HK can't fire as well, because they're just not allowed to, uh... Fire. That's so funny! I was like, oh, just, just in case we, uh, just in case we encounter any HK droids. Oh, that's great. They were literally around the corner. So, so this is, yeah, I'm gonna keep having... I'm gonna keep having HK in my party. Keep having uh, HK in the party. Oh, nice. There's some good loot that I did not pick up when I was here before. I wonder if my speeder has still been sabotaged. Okay. Uh, we've dealt with the yacht, so I think we can deal with this now. You interrupting me for a reason? I uh, should be able to transport a family to Telos now, right? What? Do I look like a passenger ship to you? Ah, you're right. You help me. I help you. Okay, the mother's name is Karana. She's in the refugee quad. Fine. I do for you. But don't ask of Fasa again. What else? Ah, oh, I'm about to ask something else of you. Now that freighters can depart safely, I can use a good pilot. Nice. The refugee Otis will work for your sponsorship. Fasa can do this. Good. I'll send someone for him. Yo! Okay, nice. Um, one more and HK-47 will be able to give you the location of the factory. Nice. We've now finished both of these. Found a job for Otis working for Vogue of the Hut and Fasa. Helped Karana and her family secure a trip from Narshadar to Telos and they're off to a better life. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to go speak to Vogue now as well because we've dealt with... Goto's yacht, so we may need we may be able to direct the fuel source to Telos as well, because we've dealt with Goto. Let's resolve these loose ends finally. And then we ha we still have to check out we haven't even checked out the entertainment district. 
Uga, Uga Buga, you've returned, but I do not see Goto chained behind you. Can it be you have had, not had success yet? Well, I'm just going to say, I do not have Goto here, but rest assured he will trouble you no longer. Indeed, I had heard as much. I wouldn't have thought you could have so easily disposed of him. Rarely am I as impressed by a human. I believe that means we have a matter of business to discuss. My freighters have already begun their work. I will open trade with the Telusians, however I believe they will be reluctant to listen to my offer, should it come from me. Now, oh. Hang on. Okay. I missed, uh, it just skipped over one of those lines of dialogue. However, let me just check this. Uh, I think he's just saying that it, if it comes from me, it won't go very well. But if we go to speak with Lieutenant uh, Gren, we can arrange for that to happen. So there you go. Okay. We had some struggles this episode. And uh, sorry if that was hard to watch because it was hard for me to also deal with. <laughs> Uh, but we got through it. Um, we dropped. We did drop the difficulty down as soon as Chris gets in. Chris Blythe gets in the party. It it becomes easier to, to deal with. But it is this is definitely uh, a struggle with the with the gameplay. You know, it is it is pretty wild. Um, HK does not even have a weapon equipped. Um, I think he had the repeating blaster rifle, right? Um, there you go. Um, we'll have to upgrade and put good stuff on all of my party members. I don't know why this we're so far apart right now. Um, we'll have to equip my my party in case they get accidentally thrown into more encounters later. We've got to get some influence with characters so we can get their uh, you know get their um, their influence up so we can talk to them about their pasts, namely this gentleman here. Uh, so we're going to bring this episode of Knights of the Old Republic 2 to a close. Next time, we're going to go to the Ebon Hawk, get probably a refresh or a party update on everyone and see what happens. We're going to try and talk to a bunch of people again. Uh, and then we're going to check out the Entertainment District on Narshadar before we move to our next destination. I think we'll double back to Telos for the fuel source mission. And then uh, I guess we'll go to Onderon next, I feel. That might be a good idea. But thank you so much for joining me. Uh, it's been a, an interesting ride. We managed to make it through. And hopefully, as we progress, things will get um, much smoother. Our characters will get stronger. Things might be a little bit less of a headache. We'll just have to see how we go. But thank you for bearing with me. I do appreciate it. Because, um, like I said, I'm, I'm trying really hard. Especially in a lot of these encounters. I'm just... I feel like I'm fighting against the game at times, um, while also trying to uh, construct a decent episode for you guys to watch. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next episode.